He is known for his legendary status as a Roman leader who exemplified civic virtue and outstanding leadership. He worked as a farmer until his fellow citizens called for his leadership during a crisis, where he achieved a swift victory and immediately relinquished his power. His name is Lucius Quinctius Cincinnatus. In the annals of Roman history, one name stands out as a symbol of leadership and virtue, Lucius Quinctius Cincinnatus. Born in the early Roman Republic, Cincinnatus was a patrician, statesman, and military leader. While he initially opposed the rights of the plebeians, his story would later become a legend of civic virtue. Cincinnatus' fame stems from his response to a crisis. When his son's violent opposition to the plebeians' demand for equal laws led to their impoverishment, Cincinnatus continued to work his own small farm. But when an invasion threatened Rome, his fellow citizens turned to him for leadership. Despite his age, Cincinnatus answered the call and swiftly defeated the enemy in just 16 days. What makes Cincinnatus truly remarkable is what happened next. Instead of clinging to power, he willingly relinquished his authority and returned to his farm. This act of selflessness and humility has made him a symbol of outstanding leadership and service to the greater good. While some details of his story may be debated by historians, Cincinnatus' legacy as a historical figure and his examples of civic virtue continue to inspire to this day. In ancient Rome, during a time of crisis, a man named Cincinnatus would rise to become a legendary figure in Roman history. It was the year 458 BC, and Rome was facing a threat from the Equi, who had broken their treaty and attempted to retake Tusculum. The consuls of the year, L. Minucius Esquilinus Augurinus and G. Nauseus Rutilus, led separate armies to counter this threat. However, when L. Minucius's army reached Mount Algidus in the Alban Hills, they made a fateful decision to camp and rest instead of attacking immediately. Little did they know that the Equi quickly surrounded them, successfully besieging the Roman army. Only five horsemen managed to escape and bring the news to the Roman Senate. The senators, in a state of panic and recognizing the dire situation, authorized the appointment of a dictator. It was G. Nauseus Rutilus or Horatius Pulvillus who named Cincinnatus for this role, giving him a term of six months. A group of senators was sent to Cincinnatus, finding him working on his farm. When they informed him of his appointment, he calmly asked if everything was all right. They replied with hopes for his success and the country's well-being, requesting that he dress in his senatorial toga before receiving the Senate's mandate. Cincinnatus called out to his wife Rosilia, asking her to bring his toga from their cottage. Once dressed appropriately, the delegation hailed him as a dictator and ordered him to come to the city. Crossing the Tiber in one of the Senate's boats, Cincinnatus returned to Rome. He was greeted by his three sons and most of the senators. Several lictors were assigned to him for protection and to enforce his orders. The next day, Cincinnatus went to the forum and appointed Lucius Tarcisius as his master of the horse. He then gathered the assembly of the people and issued a command for every able-bodied man to appear on the field of Mars by the end of the day, each carrying twelve times the normal amount of encamping spikes. With this newly formed army, Cincinnatus marched to the relief of the besieged consul's army. At the Battle of Mount Algidus, they swiftly used their spikes to besiege the Equi who had besieged the Romans. Instead of slaughtering them between the two Roman camps, Cincinnatus showed mercy. He offered an amnesty to the Equi, with the condition that three principal offenders be executed and their leaders, including Gracchus Cloelius, be delivered to him in chains. As a symbol of submission, a yoke of three spears was set up, and the defeated Equi passed under it, bowing and admitting their defeat. Having accomplished his mission, Cincinnatus disbanded his army and returned to his farm, relinquishing his control just fifteen days after it had been granted to him. His swift and decisive action had saved Rome from the Equi threat, and his selfless devotion to duty became a shining example of political leadership in times of crisis. Cincinnatus would forever be remembered as a statesman who put the interests of his country above his own. And his legacy would continue to inspire generations to come. Do you want to explore more politician or military strategist? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.